Often our everyday life is such that we build up a lot of tension through action and stress, and we take them with us into sleep. Why not try these three exercises instead of reading, watching TV, or using your phone, which we will do right away. This way you release a lot of accumulated tensions and prepare your body for a relaxed sleep. You see, I am already in the evening mood. Before we do the three exercises now, feel your tensions. Catch them in the act. How does your neck feel? There is often a source of discomfort. The shoulder? Move a little and test your back briefly. How does it move? Your hips? Yes. So that you get an overview like this and we stop directly. You have to get up from the couch, come back up and join in right away and position yourself somehow behind the couch. I'm going a bit sideways so you can see me. And now you go, not much, but a little bit into the split. This way we are already tensing a muscle, namely the hip flexor. He's already getting a bit longer there now. And now please place both hands on the lower buttocks behind, or also one. If you need to hold on a little bit for balance, then grab the couch or something else that's there. Not the wobbly floor lamp, that would not be suitable. And now you push the groins forward and go back with the belly button. And then you create a strong stretching in the area of the groin. And we do that together now. This is not a demonstration exercise, this is a participation exercise. So go ahead and start right away. Breathe in and bring the groins further forward. And so, this is a bit voluntary now, but if you also want to do something for your neck, then take your head back and hyperextend it and enjoy that. I won't do it now because then I won't be able to speak as well, but you can go ahead and do it. If you notice in between, oh, that's too intense for me up there in the neck, I'm not used to this overextension backwards, then you just go out in between again. But I tell you, to properly relax your neck, you have to stretch it forward and backward. And therefore, this is one more step. You can also add it later. We are still stretching further and further. And now you do the following, now you press. Even if you practice with only one hand, when you have both hands on the buttocks, it becomes a little easier. You press your hand firmly against your buttocks, as much strength as your shoulder allows. And then you try to straighten up against this force a little bit, and you realize it doesn't work. So you can tense up in front, that's our strength training, without really getting up. Then you relax and go a little further back because afterwards it always goes back a bit. We train the muscle and the fascia to give in a little bit again and again. And then you make an effort again, go into the upright position with strength, but hold yourself back with your arms so that doesn't happen, and then relax again and continue going in. And we'll do that again, then we'll have it done right away. Again, you tense your hand, or both hands, I'll show it now with both hands, you tense against it and want to lift up with your torso, but block this coming up so that you can put the force nicely into the torso, let go and go a little further back and then slowly come up again. Come on, look closely at my feet, always with small steps, again with the legs together. This is an important exercise also for the hip and swing the legs a little and feel it. Maybe you already feel a difference. Write a comment if you do, and now you sit down. You've been waiting for it anyway. When can we get back on the couch? Now bring your feet together, bend your legs a little, about plus or minus 90 degrees, and now test how far you can lean forward. It may be that you already notice, oh, it starts to pull in the back. The background is that everything is usually overstretched in the back because we are too short in the front due to sitting for you to understand. But this reactive tension back there, we also want to find out, important for sleep and important to relax and unwind in the evening. That's why you, no matter at what angle you are, continue with your hands along the legs. Maybe you can even manage to reach the feet, but that doesn't have to be the case. When you are up here, then you just hold on to the knees when pulling back later. That always gives an opportunity, 
or you take the loop, hang yourself in, or you wrap a towel around yourself and pull yourself further and further with the towel. I'm going to the feet now and increasingly downwards and now you can feel the stretching here in the lower area and that is so important to relax and unwind in the evening because that's where usually most tensions are in the whole body in this completely tight lower back. Many say, it's like a steel corset. I can hardly move anymore. Muscles can pull so strongly. So, and now we're going to take it up a notch. We also talked about the neck because there's always a lot of tension there in the evening. So please place one hand on the upper back end of the head and pull the head into flexion and then it also pulls in the neck. So with the left hand now, if you do it like I do, it pulls more in the lower back and with the right hand, it pulls more in the neck and we're really enjoying that now. Yes, we're coming further down with the torso and further into flexion with the head breathing nicely into it and enjoying it. And we can stay in there for a while, do it as long as I do, because it is so relaxing, because it also affects the abdominal area, right? And when the center is relaxed, this relaxation also radiates into the outer periphery. Always pull yourself down a little further, bend your head a little further. As the tissue gives way, you increase the stretch a bit more. And now, try it out. Your back wants to go up, you hold on, but with your left hand you hold yourself tight so that it doesn't go up. And then the head is added, the head wants to be high, but you also hold it. Relaxes again, trunk continues forward, head goes a little more into flexion. And again, the back wants to lift, the head wants to lift, you hold both forces, you relax again, the torso continues forward down, the head continues into flexion. And again, the trunk wants to lift, the head wants to lift, you hold both, let go again, pull yourself further down and further bend the head. Take a few more breaths, go a little deeper into the stretch with each exhale and then slowly and gently come back up. Wonderful. Do you notice how that feels? Write me a comment with a thumbs up if it feels just as good for you too. Oh, now there is still a very important area missing. Which one is it? Attention. You have to get off the couch now. Sorry, but not so bad. You can stay near the couch. You should go like this. If you have a solid hard ground under you with the knee, which is a bit difficult, then take a pillow under the knee and then go far enough back so that you can lay your arms on the couch in such a way that you have an angle of about 45 degrees. And now you go down with the front, with the upper end of the sternum, further and further down. And then you notice it pulls into the shoulders, it pulls into the arms, maybe a little into the upper back, also into the chest. What do we do now? We now free the entire chest and that loosens the shoulders, which helps the neck to stay loose, which we have already prepared in the previous exercise. Breathe yourself in nicely and always go a little further with the upper end of the sternum towards the ground. Breathe in deeply, breathe out deeply and always increase a little bit more.
Lower the upper end of the sternum. And now please press down with your hands. The elbows are fully extended. Press down with your hands. Hold this force, then relax and go a little deeper. And again, you press down again, press down properly, you let go, go deeper again. Do exactly as I instruct, please. Breathe in deeply, exhale a little more, and again, you push down, you let go, and go a little deeper. Breathe in deeply, breathe out deeply, go even further into the stretch, and then slowly breathe out again. Slowly get up again, sit back on the couch, feel a little bit, feel a little bit, and it would be great if you feel that, because it may be that you already feel much more relaxed, especially now here in this area, that you already notice it. Therefore, write a comment, thumbs up, makes me very happy. Just do them every evening, at least six days a week. It can also be seven, yes. And then write down what happens and feel what happens and get used to always checking in before and after the exercises. Then you will get a better and better overview of how your body reacts. You know, we want to spread how much you can do yourself. Sleep in particular is a big topic for people. Many have enough stress during the day. That's why share the video, send it on, do the exercises with friends and colleagues together, go through them. With that you show them, just tell it around. That would be super, super good. Because it is so difficult to train regularly, and now comes a hint in our own interest, we have of course developed this Liebscham Pracht app. I am there for you every morning. We do seven minutes every morning. One, two simple exercises to get started. I motivate you and get you to establish a solid routine that you can always expand further. And we in the app, we have the big goal. We want to prove this life, that one can become more pain-free and more mobile the older one gets, or also as a woman, if we only do the right exercises. If you like, be there and take a look, click here, then you can test directly, free of charge, and to subscribe to this channel, please click here. Don't forget to activate the bell. Great that you were there. Until next time, ciao.